there have been more than 1 million confirmed cases of coronavirus worldwide. In severe cases, patients go on ventilators to help them breathe. There are multiple kinds of ventilators, but they all generally function the same. Here are the main parts of a ventilator and how the process works. A doctor will first insert a laryngoscope into the patient's mouth. The patient is given sedatives and other drugs to ensure that he or she isn't awake during any of the process. An endotracheal tube goes through the laryngoscope and down into the trachea. The tube is secured with a fastening device and verify that it's in place and won't be dislodged with bilateral breath sounds and an x-ray. A balloon is also inflated around the tube to make sure it stays in place. After the tube is secured, the laryngoscope is removed and the outside of the endotracheal tube is inserted into a Y connector, which connects the endotube to two tubes running to the ventilator. One is the inspiratory circuit, which runs air from the ventilator through a humidifier to the patient. The other, the expiratory circuit, runs air from the patient back to the ventilator. A saline bag will drip water down to the humidifier, which moisturizes the gas running through the inspiratory circuit to the patient. The patient exhales through the expiratory tube, returning air back to the ventilator. It's a complicated issue for deciding when a patient is healthy enough to come off a ventilator. Doctors observe chest x-rays, vital signs, and a variety of other tests to make that decision. 